Hi, hello, is this Trevor? Yes, this is Trevor. Hey, Trevor, this is I'm Tommy Bryson. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too bad. You're giving God thanks. Okay. Awesome. So just want to let you know, I'm Trevor. This call is going to be recorded and potentially uploaded. How can I help? Okay. All right, no problem. Um, I, I've been a model for a while now, and especially because of the pandemic. It's not how it used to be. Okay. So I haven't been getting work as before. And I have ventured into the online business for a while now, and I haven't earned a thing. I've been checking out the videos on how to, but still, I never got there, even though I tried. Okay. And I saw your videos, and I saw, I thought that what you were saying, things you were saying were legit. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that I should reach out to you. I, I started doing a business in network marketing and it's been the only business that I start earning from since being online but it's not much plus I want to diversify my income so I mm -hmm. was looking for some suggestions from you and so forth mm -hmm. and the last thing before you all um, I've reached out to other persons you're the only one that actually responded okay and I thank you for that no problem. So, so Trevor, how old are you? I'm 24. Okay, so you're 24 years old. You're a model, have been for the past few years, and you want to diversify your income, especially during the pandemic. You didn't get that much work, can't get much work now, and you've only been able to have success in network marketing. Does that sound right? Yes. Well, not great success as yet. I just started, but it's been working out. Yeah. So here's what it sounds like to me, right? Um, my advice comes from what I would do if I were you. So who do you live with? Do you live alone or live with your parents? With my parents, you could say. Okay. Do you have a job? Not now. Yeah. So I my first, my first step would be if I'm you, I'm going to get a job and just start working. Right, because you need income. And all the passive income stuff is great. It's awesome. The online business stuff is great. But it's something that you build up while you have a job and actually have income. Does that make sense? So right. if I'm you personally, I'm going to get a job, whether it's at Walmart, being a secretary, um, whatever it is, doesn't matter. You need to be active. You need to be making your own income, making it with your own money. If I work that eight hours a day, I come home, I spend four hours in my business and start trying to grow it. Now, the idea is, yes, you know, what I personally do on YouTube is very simple. I give you ideas and I kind of give you a little spark. So you learn about something and you become kind of like interested in it. But then after that, you're the person who needs to go ahead and read the books and take the courses and then put everything into action. Right. right. So that means if you want to do, for example, drop shipping, if you want to do, for example, um, retail arbitrage, if, if you want to build a course online, whatever you want to do, that's all great, which is fine. But you have to, A, have income coming in because currently you're 24 years old. You're living at home, which is which is how you're able to actually maintain this type of lifestyle. And you have like the model thing, which is basically, it's a pretty tough job. I, I tried the acting thing and uh, and all that stuff. It's, it's pretty tough. I understand that world. But while you're doing yeah. all these things, you're juggling all these things, you have to have secure income. And I'm guessing you, you sound like you're very entrepreneurial, right? So a lot of entrepreneurs, they don't like people, but it's just a part of the game. You need seed capital. You need seed money. You need to have money from somewhere. So the easiest place to get it from is from a skill. That means you work a job. Okay, now I can make a thousand $1,000 per month. Great. I can save that money up. Then I can go ahead and basically build this business on the side. You'll need to buy courses most likely, or if you want to do it for free, just by studying things on, on, on YouTube. Now, one thing is this, right? right? Everyone on the internet, and I said from this also, we want microwave results and also fast food results, meaning it's kind of like you're going through McDonald's and you're like, hey, where's my burger? It's been 30 seconds, right? Because those are the results. Yeah, yeah. But in life, entrepreneurship, modeling, business, 
all these things is not a microwave and it's not fast food. Things are gonna take time. You're not just gonna watch one of my videos or anyone's videos and be like, well, I did it, where's my $15,000 per month? It doesn't work like that. If it was like that, right. then everyone would have the results. So if I were you personally, again, A, I'm getting a job, right? Whether I like it or I don't like it, I'm getting a job. The best scenario is that you try to get a job that actually complements your skills, which is fine, but it's just temporary to get seed capital. B, while I have that right. job, I'm gonna go ahead and either work on my business, right? Try to build it up, or I could just get a career, bro, right? Whether it's a trade job or a college or whatever it is, and then build up from there. Again, when you're broke, it seems like two years from now, four years from now, it's like such a long time to think about because you want everything right now. But at age 26 or 28, when you get to that age, you could have, for example, either a trade job and two years under your belt and making like $40,000, $50,000 a year, or you could just graduate with your bachelor's degree in accounting or finance or whatever it is and making, for example, $70,000 a year, right? You need to acquire a skill. And if while you're trying to acquire the skill midway, your your um your online business blows up, then awesome, right? That's awesome. But if it doesn't, you need a skill that's actually going to make sense right. to actually earn you income. Does that make sense? Right, it does. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, right, um, Trevor? If you weren't living with your parents, what would you be doing right now? If I wasn't living with my parents. Yeah. What would you be doing? Well. If your parents said today you can't stay with us no more, what are you doing? I have to try to find somewhere to be at. And you gotta find a job, right? Cost. You're right. It's going to cost but you're, me. But you're comfortable at home because you don't have those restrictions. So, so just act like they're kicking you out. All right. So start having some, some deadlines attached to yourself. All right, so meaning, yeah, you know, I live at home. It's very comfortable, bro. It's like it's like being wrapped up in like uh, some plush sheets and a nice bed, and you're like, I don't want to get up. That's what parents do to you, you know, staying at home with them. You kind of have like a wide variety of choices, so you usually don't make any. You're like, I want to do modeling. I want to do online business. It's just not working for me. I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to figure things out. No, get a job and then get a skill. And then while you're doing all those things, you can try out the passive income thing by taking courses, reading books, or for example, watching videos online and practicing from there, and then waiting until it actually grows into something. But it's not gonna happen overnight. Make sense? Right. I understand that. Mm hmm I understand that. And I believe if I if I had like the right guidance before now. We probably would have had this conversation a while back, mm -hmm. and I would be becoming better now. Yeah, but it, again, you're 24 <laughs> years old, bro. You're very young. You're the same age as I am. You're super young. Your whole life is ahead of you. And the problem that a lot of us suffer from today is the I can't find my niche syndrome. You're constantly stuck looking for something. You try something new, it doesn't work. You try something else, doesn't work. You're never actually moving forward because you're trying to find something that's perfect. It's not going to be perfect. You're going to get a job, you're going to like some parts of it, which is fine. But that enables you to get your own little apartment, which then enables you to get a skill, which enables you to actually get a career. You make a lot more money now. You can build a business on the side and you keep growing and growing and growing. But you got to stick to something. That's the only way you actually get results, by sticking to something. You can't flip-flap when you don't get um, microwave results. True. True. And don't, don't put yourself down. I'm not putting you down either. I'm just telling you what it is. But whatever you did yesterday, whatever you did before I called you, it doesn't matter. Only matters what you do next, right? So next is I'm applying for things because me trying to be a model and me trying to build a business isn't netting me any money right now. And I can try to build a business on the side while I have a job. Example, Gary V worked at his um, father's wine place for like 12 hours a day while also trying to build his business, right? Warren right. Buffett did a whole bunch of different businesses while trying to do investing, right? I did the same thing, went to college, had several jobs, while I was also trying to do YouTube. You need income. You're able to do all these things while also having a job. Make sense? Right. It does. Okay. So what, do you, what, do you, what are you going to do, just for context? What's your next step? 
well, I'm going to be looking for a job. In fact, I was doing that. I definitely was doing that. And I was supposed to do an interview today. Mm -hmm. Something happened with the interview online. So it was scheduled for tomorrow. Okay. So I have interview to do and hopefully I get that job and I'll start working from there. Mm-hmm. I remember, right? Um, I call this the, the Casey Neistat uh, method, right? Casey Neistat was like a blogger on YouTube and he makes a lot of money, all right? He's a big business guy. And he says, when you work a job that you're not really a big fan of, it puts like a little burning fire in you and it makes you want more, right? So it's gonna and it's gonna give you a lot more ideas. So don't be too picky with the job you choose to kind of like. It's not. It's a job. It's not a career. It doesn't have to make you super super happy, right? So the job you pick isn't such a big deal. It's just seed capital to fund your career, the things you actually want to do. Once you do have this job, think about a career. And to think about a career, I follow the the the, the rule of ten, meaning I make a list of my top 10 careers, the one that I would do, the ones that I like the most, make the most money, all those things. I do research on them from A to Z. How much money do they make? What's the growth in this industry? Am I good at it? What's the day-to-day? Like a full research paper on each of these careers. And then you start crossing off and crossing off. When you're left with the top three, you pick the one you kind of like the most because they're all going to make you some form of money. And then you just go into it. And you're working... You're also either going to trade school or college or getting a license, whatever it is, and then you get that done. You know what I mean? But just make sure if you do go to college, you pick a, a degree that actually makes sense and it's not like a throwaway degree. Okay? Right. Yeah. And while you're doing those things, you can still work on your business. You can still build up passive income. The problem is you watch a lot of videos on YouTube, um, but they forget to mention that the average millionaire is 52 years old. The average millionaire has a nine to five job. The average millionaire has a home that costs below $200,000. The average millionaire drives Toyotas and Mazdas and Hondas. That Those are real millionaires. It's, it's not the YouTubers or none of that stuff. It's very rare. Right. Okay. I get that. All right, brother. Any more questions? No. All right. Um, so the business that I am a part, a part of, I don't know if you ever heard about, um, secrets. Of what? The business I'm a part of, in the name of the, the company is Secrets. Secrets? Like they, they, yes. Okay. They have, they have, they do products like, um, beauty, skincare, healthcare. They do mm-hmm. travel. And the business side, and there's a business side. So that's Doesn't... that's what I am doing now. What is it? And... An MLS? Is it basically um a multi-level marketing thing where you basically um you join mm-hmm. more people on and you get more money? Is that what's going on? Yes, something like that. And I I have been hearing online there people have terrible excuse um not experience with with it. Mm-hmm. And some have good experience. And so far, with this company, because I've tried before and I haven't heard of, I I didn't earn anything from any of them. But this one, I started to earn. How much money are you and making? How much money I would make? Like how much money are you make, currently making? Oh, from this business. Yeah. That would be like a hundred to two hundred dollars. A week um, or so. So, so eight hundred dollars a month. Be I, yes, that would be because I basically just started. Okay. I How much started. money did you put in? Fifty dollars. Okay, so you already made your money, right? Did you actually get the cash yeah. in your hand already or no? Yes, I did. So they already paid you $200 and you have that in cash that is actually yours. Yes. Not in their account and their whole thing in your account. In mine. Okay, good. I'm confirming, man, because there's a lot of scams out there. Um, so, yeah, look, you already made your money. If you want to dedicate, I don't, I'm not a big fan of, of that, of that stamp type of strategy. It's not my yeah. thing. But if you, if you want to do it, I actually started out, 
I remember one of my friends, one of my best friends brought me into one of those things. It was like the same thing, travel, a whole bunch of packages. It's just not my thing. And like this whole like multi-level thing, they take you to like this whole like conference and they show you this guy that makes so much money and he has this nice car, blah, blah, blah. And then it's just not my game. It's not what I'm interested in. So if you want to do right. that, that's fine. Right. But you need a job, bro. Right. So if you can dedicate right. two hours to that, that's fine. But your priority is getting a job, getting your own apartment so you can have your own wings and then working on building a skill. Well, everything else just comes to the side. And by the way, if you're interested, for example, in software engineering, it is an amazing degree. And you can get it, for example, almost for free. If you go to Google, um, Google has like free courses on it, IT management, and they make between like $70,000 all the way up to $250,000 a year. My friend is about to get a job for $250,000 a year. So it's, there's a lot of careers wow. out there, man, that make a lot of money and also ones that you love that also make a good amount of money. With $40,000 wow. a year, $70,000 a year, you're going to be fine. But it takes time, bro. It takes true, a lot true. of time. You feel me? True. And yeah. I, 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 I've I always been interested in computers. And I think that's one of the things that led me to the online yeah. world. Because I've yeah. always been interested in computers. And I... Um, one course I wanted to do, I would like to do more, but I wanted to do network administration. Network administration? Yeah, look it up, man. Look Thanks. it up. See what the growth is, how much it'll cost you to actually get the, the license or degree or whatever it is, and then see what it takes, and then just go into it. Remember, right, if you're not good at something, usually you'll get better at it by doing it over and over again. You probably weren't the best model when you first started out. But you get right. better at the poses and, and taking the pictures the correct way, the light and all that stuff. You get better as you do it. So it's about picking something, making sure you like an aspect of it, and then going into it. Don't be too picky. Make sense? True. True. That makes sense. All right, and I'd, I'd love for you those mm -hmm. those um, quotes that you were telling me about. I don't know if you could um, like send a link from um, Instagram or so to those websites like, that would deal with the courses that you just mentioned just the only people i know and recommend and would vouch for when it comes to courses um number one his name is paul jalipsky so that's paul and then the letter j and the last name lipsky so that's i think l-i-p-s-k-y if i'm not mistaken but you can look on youtube he does like um he has a course called like um drops up in titans it talks about drop shipping from Amazon, Facebook, all this stuff. Then you also have, for example, um, Jasmine Bautista. She's on YouTube, doesn't have a course just yet, but she talks about retail arbitrage. But there's just a lot of just if you want to get a course, my advice is get a course with a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you do buy it, whether it's on Skillshare, whatever it is, if you do buy it, you're able to if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, you got your money back. No problem. And if you buy it with a with a. You can buy with a debit card is fine. Some people buy with a credit card to have like the to charge the money back in case anything goes wrong. Um, but that's about it, honestly. All right? You can try those things out, but again, priority is get a job, get a skill, move out. Okay. Right, right. Now I'll, I'll be working on that. And right, and brother. also, um, go ahead. The last thing, the the things that you were talking about that I could find on Google that has to oh, do with computer. IT. So just look up, I look up um Google IT management or look up um software engineer courses, and there's a lot of resources online. And just look it up on YouTube too. I'm not the best person to for this, but you also have um I think her name is um the come up on on YouTube is um this I think she's African American and she's also a software engineer and she does amazing things also. But just look up um how to get started in software engineering. There's like a, like a bunch of videos out there. Like dedicate if you're able to dedicate two hours or four hours to watching my videos or watching people tell you about um, this whole multi-level marketing scheme thing, then just dedicate four hours or 10 hours to just researching exactly what you are interested in as far as like building a legit skill in a capitalist world. Okay. Right, right, right. Most definitely. All right, brother. Most well, definitely. just want you to know that these calls um, they are free and you can always call back whenever you actually want to. So once you make a choice and decision, if you want to call me back, feel free to do so. Okay, Trevor. No problem. And I thank you so much for reaching out and this call was, I needed this and thank you. Thank you so much. No problem, bro. Welcome to the long-term team. Peace out.
All right. All right. All right, guys, so that right there was Ashley Trevor, you know? And, you know, I was actually reading this book today, and it was like, we, for example, like our generation, we get stuck in the, I can't find my niche. I can't find what I actually want to do. Where is my passion? Where is the love? Where is all this stuff? Just do something. Just pick something. You know, when, when you don't have any, any reason to do something, usually you just don't. You know, if you live at home with your parents and you're just like, ah, I don't really have to get a job. I'm fine here. Everything's fine. You just don't have any problems, you know? That's why it's so important as a parent that you introduce problems to your kids. You know, if you don't work, you, you, you can't eat. You know what I'm saying? You don't work, you, you can't pay rent, right? You, you got to have problems. You know, problems are going to help you out a lot. And I've learned that value so much after moving out from my parents, you know? Even when I was living with my mom, for example, I was making a good amount of money, obviously, like a lot of money, and I was fine. But I wasn't not doing anything. But living at home usually gives you that, like, how do I say this? It gives you, like, that security knowing that, oh, I don't have to make a choice right now. I don't have any sense of urgency in my life right now. But at age 24, super young, get a job. Pick something that you actually like as a skill and then go after it. Not everything is going to be passive and passive and passive. You need a job, bro. That, that, that's the key. Get, get a job, you know. This whole like online scene is awesome. It's made a lot of millionaires. It's, it's done a lot of great things, you know. But a lot of people make a lot of money online is by selling you courses and making videos about things, and that's fine, you know. But you gotta get a job, right? Once you have a job, you get a skill, and you're able to do all these things while you're also building your online business. That's really the truth, right there, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified. If you guys want to join me on my next call, feel free to do so. These calls are free. Again, so the link is down below. And schedule the call today, and I'll give you a call directly. On top of that, also, if you want to DM me, DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. Or, for example, click right here to watch more content. Or click right here to watch the this rest of this channel and look at my other channels also. Thanks for watching, guys. Long-term team for the win. Peace out.